Welcome back to Dirkus Dungeon, everybody. Garnet's in a bad way. I'm gonna take care of that straight out of the gate. Obviously, uh, few people already committed to some sickness treatments. We're doing okay overall, though. Everyone's looking like they're feeling decent. But I don't know what we have in store for today. Let's see what our options are. Still only short missions, which I guess I'm okay with. Be getting a commander's orders from here, or we could go for the agility whistle for the Houndmaster. Also, hearing tell now, there was a slight adjustment made to the man at arms. I guess the retribution lasts longer now? Which would be really interesting to see. So I might have to bring out Pippery today, just to see what that's all about. Which means, obviously, we're going for the skirmish. Alright, so that's all set for us. Now we gotta decide what else to do. I've got a little bit more money now, so I think another trip to the sanitarium might be in order. There's some people here that have just got some bad, bad stuff. I gotta take care of that sooner than later. Blutomania, obsessed with cleanliness, not that big of a deal. Fragile is probably the one I ought to get rid of right away. So let's do this, and then uh, robust. And do I want to lock in any of these? Evasive is pretty good. Seems worth the money, let's go with that. And what else, what else, what else? Resolution, bad gambler, no problem there. Faceless demon taste and ruminator, eh, you know, not, not too shabby. Could probably deal with that. Fear of beasts is pretty rough. Normally I'm not too worried about the ones that only deal with a specific enemy class, but that... I don't know, they, they do have a pretty significant effect, and that can be a difference maker. Ooh, Eagle Eye is really good for her too. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, that is quite a bit of money we just spent. I got kind of carried away with that <laughs> really, really quickly. I don't want to get rid of Lazy Eye right now. I'm going to bring him out anyway. Might even bring out... Actually, hold on a second. We're, we're running, out of, running out of legends now. Maybe want to be a little bit more cautious in how many people I'm committing to all this recovery. So who can we use right now? I guess Wateo is going to be our healer. The reconstruction, I suppose that's pretty effective. And then we've got... We've got a couple of options as far as the back line goes. Could bring a Houndmaster out if I wanted to be crazy, because that is crazy now that I think about it. Their, their biggest boon is the uh, Hound's Harry, I think, which is obviously not nearly as effective in the Cove, given the bleed resist of those enemies. So we could go Bounty Hunter. Marking some targets could be nice. We could also use the Occultist in congruence with that. Maybe a Crusader for the front line. Uh, I think the Grave Robber's still a pretty good option. The Poison Darts I do like quite a bit. It's a very strong Blight, too. In addition to the fact that it adds Blight... or uh, it reduces the enemy's Blight resistance. I didn't even realize that for a really long time. So I'll probably have to bring her out again. So what if we went with... Man-at-Arms, Grave Robber... Hellion Occultist. We could probably do that, right? We need her to be in the back, so it would have to be Man-at-Arms in the second or first position, which is fine. And then we'll have the Hellion wherever that fits. I like it. We'll probably roll with that. Definitely don't need another Berserk Mask. Tough Ring is still pretty damn good. I like that option a lot. Bullseye Bandana, I already got one of those. Alright, none of this looks too tantalizing. Do I need to sell any of these trinkets? Maybe we should go for another run of trinket sales. How about that? Check all these out. We want to see what kind of changes have been made to these items as well. I want to make sure I'm utilizing the best gear I've got. So let's resort by rarity and see what we got. Bleedstone. It looks like they might have buffed up the bleed skill chance, so that's pretty neat. Just want to look at the things that I know I am interested in, actually. The bloodied fetish, probably never going to end up using that. We'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Uh, damage versus unholy, definitely not going to happen. I used to love the bloodthirst ring. I remember when that was a thing. I remember it fondly, actually. That was one of my favorite items. Saving me some food for a while there. Uh, never gonna use that. Bloody Dice is actually okay. I'll probably hang on to that one. Gambler's Charm, maybe. I mean, it's just a straight-up health boost. Why not take it? Shimmering Cloak, blah, 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 blah. There's just so many things that I know I'm really never gonna use, but they're also not bad enough to sell. Or maybe they are. Yeah, that one's actually pretty terrible, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, bleed skill chance and bleed resist, which is nice. This is actually maybe good for unique circumstances. I gotta keep an eye on that one. Cursed incense for the debuff skill chance. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that. Dodgy sheath. 
Let's have a look through these rares real fast. I know most of these now. I've established a, fam a familiarity with... Oh my god, that word. Familiarity! Use in a sentence, please. I have no familiarity with the English language. Why are you in this spelling bee? How do you keep getting in this building? Alright, that'll do for now. I can't keep my attention locked onto those trinkets for so long. No way that can happen. So let's go with this. I'll tell in the back. I'll go with Bray in our third position, and that's going to be the Man at Arms and the Hellion. I like it. This should work pretty well. As far as our Man at Arms goes, I uh, don't really have a pretty ah, passive about this. I don't think it really matters too much. People, you know, it's the trinkets clearly. You know, a, a huge part of the game makes a pretty big difference, but... I've had many a run where I accidentally didn't equip any, and I usually end up okay. Although, there might exist a spreadsheet somewhere that argues with that fact, so <laughs> I shouldn't be so hasty in making that assumption. Do I want to consider putting him in rank 4? Plus 5 dodge if health below 300%. Is that just a catch-all that they had to implement at some point? Somehow, this guy can get 300% of his own health, right? That'd be pretty incredible. I haven't really decided what I want to put on him yet, so hold off a minute here. Let's, uh... Let's look at our occultist real quick. Probably not going to give him that damage buff, but I do like the stun chance and the little bit of boost to crit. So let's give him the cauldron. And then I would really, really, really like to boost his healing skills. I don't know if I have anything that can do that, though. Let's see if any of just the, uh... Better, very rare trinkets might do that for me. Maybe even a common trinket might do that, actually. Hold on a second. Do we have anything that just straight up boosts healing skills? Because I would love to see that. We could get a huge boost to stun skill chance again, but that is only for the Plague Doctor. I don't think I'm going to find it. Move skill chance, scouting chance, maximum health. There's another move skill chance. Actually, I actually have two of those. Probably not going to be using those at any point. Oh, man. Yeah, not really looking like it. Alright, tell you what, let's just go with the... How about a sniper's ring? Give him a huge accuracy buff. They're not really the greatest trinkets in the world, but if I remember what I've got, I might be able to utilize them effectively. And then I gotta remember as well, he is looking to mark as many targets as he can. Weakening Curse might not be bad either. Pull could be good. Tell you what, we'll, we'll equip his pull just because I like the corpse clear. And we could maybe utilize that to our advantage. There's our mark, though. Obviously need that, although I'm not going with the Bounty Hunter, apparently. I still could, man! I'm, I'm, I can't decide today. We've got options, I guess. Do I want to use a Schwill instead? You know what? Let's try it. Let's be courageous. Let's be adventurous today. A Schwill in the front line. It ought to work, right? We could even do the, uh, the Come Hither, which we've almost never used. The uppercut's probably going to be better, actually. Okay, there's that. Let's make him extremely strong. Or sort by character class restriction, because you never know. There's something for the bounty hunter that I have missed. And I think I'm going all the way up. There we go. I haven't used him in a long, long time. I never really have a... A reason to, to be honest. It's just such a... Meh class, I guess. In fact, uh, speaking of meh, let's just go with this. That's a combo I've grown quite fond of. These have changed quite a bit, though. Hold on a second. Yeah, these are a little different now. The Legendary Bracer is now just a huge boost. He loses speed and dodge as a result of both of these things, but he just seems much, much better as a result, so maybe I'm okay with keeping him. In fact, let's do it twice. That's even better now, I think. The loss of dodge is pretty big, but... It's a really good combo. Hard to argue with. All right. Lucky Talisman actually looks pretty good for her. More dodge, more accuracy for the range skills, and, uh, crit, ch crit chance, trap disarm, and scouting chance on the Raider's Talisman. I like it. We'll do that. Okay. Finally. Weirdly enough, this one took a long time to uh, prepare for, but we're ready, I think. Let's do it. I'm going to take a few torches out this time. Obviously, want to bring a whole bunch of those medicinal herbs in case I get the opportunity to remove some more negative quirks. I'm uh, only going to bring one or two of those. going to bring a few bandages, a couple of keys, and uh, holy water for the hell of it. Okay. Wonderful. So, marking targets, stunning targets, debuffing targets, 
and dealing a whole mess of blight damage with our grave robber. That's the plan. Man at Arms is probably just going to be a wild card thrown into this whole mix, but I think we'll end up okay. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. We do have to clear out every single room battle, so that is the lone factor. Oh, I had a feeling we get an early Watch trap here. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Good start. Yeah, we do have to clear through every single room battle. Oh my god, we got the full map, didn't we? Yes, we did! Oh, baby! And the surprise attack! Now I feel good! Now I feel ready for this. Let's go. Take down the stress cause first. I think stress is more than likely going to be the most fearsome element of this entire run. I think otherwise we'll probably be okay, but if we get too stressed out, we're gonna run into uh, into some big problems really quick. So, what are our options? Let's see if Retribution activates the Repost and actually maintains it through three turns. That's what I've heard. Plus two to crit when in, in uh, Repost mode too. Wow. Okay. Oh, we gotta remember as well, the surprise attack does not mean that they skip their turn. They simply have to wait until we've taken all of our turns now, so... Unfortunately, that has been reduced in effectiveness, but still pretty good. Apparently, my man-at-arms got knocked back, but that's okay, because he's doing work, my god. That is extremely nice. Alright, flashing daggers is pretty damn good here. Got the crit as well! Oh, yeah! This is going really good so far. Taking quite a bit of damage, though. Oh, man. Maybe I was speaking a little too soon. What the hell? Ashwill! Oh my god, he's dead! He hasn't been anywhere for days! Weeks, even! That was so fast! I couldn't... I couldn't do anything! I had no options. Okay, goodbye, Ashwill. Holy shit! As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That is terrible. I wonder if we can win. Three on four most of the time moving forward now, I guess. I'm so surprised by that. Oh my god. This changes, obviously, the entire outlook of this run. I have to change the skill set of these remaining three to, uh... Hopefully be able to actually do anything. Maybe this position would be better? She doesn't even have her, uh... Her stun move equipped. The Shadow Dash, I guess, is what it would be. Oh my god, he has, like, nothing to target individuals in the front line. All he can do is heal and hope for bleed. Let's get a crush. There we go. The onslaught. Destroy them all. Well, there's his trinkets, too. The figurehead emits a marvelous aura. Nothing. How about, uh... Torch. No. Keep trying. Herbs. Probably not gonna do it. Let's try, uh, this for some reason. Uh... Bandages? No? Let's just go for it. Inspires the hero. Ooh, yeah! I like that. Well, this is, uh, unfortunately... Probably the worst start we could have asked for. I'm gonna have to reevaluate this here. I guess we're gonna keep the Toxin Trickery equipped. She has to be... in the third position in order to use this attack. But... I need him back there for heals. What if instead of this... I gotta keep his heal, right? I have to. So I guess we can't do this one. Probably want a Shadow Fade. We could have Lunge, too, in case she ends up in the third spot. Take off Toxin Trickery. Because I don't think I'm going to be using that one too much. And now with him up in the front, Retribution, Rampart, and Crush are all really good, and Defender I like as well, so we're okay there. Alright, well... According to the look of this dungeon, we only have one more room fight, but unfortunately it's through three others, and sadly she just ruined everything. We could have possibly gotten some more food there, but that, that didn't go the way I wanted it to, did it? 
Much like the entire thing so far. I can't believe it took us that long to set up this run, only to have a Shrill die instantly. That's the most ridiculous part of this entire mess. But I'm pushing on, man. I ain't giving up right now. I think we can make it through this. These freaking armored maggots, though. Okay, let's see. AoE damage is fine. We'll accept this. Probably gonna be Blight, I would imagine, would come from that, because that sounds disgusting. How about a Crush? Retribution's probably better. I'd like to focus their attacks on him if I can, even though he's really not that well protected. What if we use Defender instead? How about re Retribution into Defender, maybe? That might be pretty good. Especially if the Repost activates continually, as people have said it does. We'll see, though. Throw another one of these out. Nice crit. Executed. Very well done. That attack is extremely painful, though. Okay. Keep these heals up. Come on, buddy. I need better than that from you right now. All right. How about... Uh, let's see. If this stays active, that's what I want. Let's see it. It is there. Okay. So he keeps his defender. Sadly, that's the one target that does not help me right now. But so long as he attacks her, that should be good for me. Nice. Okay. That works out. That's not bad at all. Then she can just unload a little bit of damage from the second spot. That's a nice combo. These three actually might be able to make this work if I can play to these strengths over and over again. And maybe even get some stuns, too. I think this will be active for one more turn. Do I try to kill him with the crush? It's a pretty damn good chance. Let's do it. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right, I really, really need to get some heals going. A stun on this guy would actually be huge. But that means I can't, uh, can't heal anymore. So I will just have to go vulnerability hex. He did get stunned. And I believe she has her lunge activated as well. We'll have to retribution here again. And hopefully she gets the lunge off next turn. Otherwise, he's a marked target. So if he gets the attack on him, that might do it. But that's still some damage I'd really like, rather not take. But we're okay. Alright, gotta keep eating whenever we can. We brought the extra food for a reason. Well, this was not the reason, but now, now it is. Now we've made accommodations, all right. Really only three more fights we have to get to. Plenty of torchlight. Plenty of chances for good things to happen here. We'll pop this one. Actually, not honestly plenty of torchlight, but a decent amount of torchlight all the same. All right, we've got a shovel for that. Another mariner. Another misfortune. There's the coral. Okay, so who's got the worst negative quirk? It's probably gonna be my man at arms. Yeah. This is nice. You show up quite a bit, and I really, really appreciate it. Scattering removed. Okay, still doesn't really do much. It's fine by me. Saves me a bunch of money at least. Okay. So our play here. First of all, I think it's a wise choice to try to do this. That sucks. That's really bad for us to start with. So I want a Retribution and Defender as early as I possibly can, but I'd also like to stun this guy to prevent him from uh, hurting us a little bit too much. So I really got to go for this. Might want to hit him with it, but honestly, let's just uh, take, it, take it down to the blood letter alone and deal with it later. I, I'm pretty sure I'm fucked in this circumstance because going up against these three with a team of four is honestly hard enough. Oh, this is a really bad spot, unfortunately. Couldn't use the lunge first, but I think I will try this again. Please pull him forward for the love of God. Damn it! That's rough. Okay, that's good for me, though. As long as they resist the bleed. Very nice. All right, she's got her lunge. Might kill this guy. That'd be huge. Very good! Awesome. Clears the corpse as well. Not a big deal, but it does help. He's getting really close to... Uh, Bad territory here, too. Okay, he, uh, well, maybe not use the defender here, actually. He's got a 95% resist to stun against 139, or we could go for the crush and try to kill him. I think I'd rather stun. Or at least try to. Nice, got it. Ooh, the knockback as well. That's really big. Helps a lot against the Fusilier. He's still got his repost active. A big hit. That's Death's Door, though. Luckily, he's stunned. We should get a heal off. Please help me. There we go. That's not bad. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. Here we go. How do I kill this one? I think he's gonna do it. In fact, I think that's gonna be a retribution attack, which is perfect. So let's just go for this. As much as we can, as much as we can. Debuff as well. The bleed resist goes down. Okay. He's definitely gotta move here. 
Get the Retribution active and then hopefully get another heal going first. Let's see here. Shadow Fade again is not a terrible option. His stun resist is higher though. Let's just deal the damage. Really use another crit, but I won't beg for it. Another heal. While we can. Resist the bleed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Good! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Alright, uh, Defender is silly. Let's just try to kill him. We're so close. One more thrown dagger might do it. I would love to get another heal in, too. Beautiful! Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. <laughs> what the hell is that sentence? <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. Oh, God. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. We're nearly out of food here, so... Here's hoping. I would love for this last hallway fight to just be the easiest thing in the world. Can you help me out with that darkest dungeon? Do me that solid, please. You know what? That's not the worst. It could be a lot worse than that, but I'm not excited about it either. That I am excited about. Okay, this is huge. If I can dodge huge damage from that, that okay, yeah. Oh, that's that's rough to deal with. What is what is my top priority here? Any of them. I need to kill any of these guys. Crits would be lovely. That helps so much. Alright, 14 damage on the cutthroat. I might just have to go for a crush here. Or what can we do? How about a demon's pole? I, th I have to heal. I can't not heal. There we go. It's gotta be on the man-at-arms to make this work. So, crush. Really good chance to kill the cutthroat. Really, really good chance to kill the Fusilier. Not gonna touch this guy. Or Retribution. Very little damage, not really gonna help us out that much. I think I have to go for the highest chance to gain the numbers advantage. There it is. Okay, that is big. Now, stun one target, right? Go for the damage to kill on the Cutthroat, stun the one right here. Let's try that. Landed it. Huge. Can't get the crush off first, unfortunately. Do I have to take the crit damage? Oh, we got the bleed, too. Please don't kill Peppery. Please don't do it. I can't even heal from here. Oh, God, that's the worst. Oh, that is the absolute worst. I am so sad about that. Well struck. Please don't die. Please don't die. Yes! Oh, my God. I think I should run. I really do. I'm so terrified of this. I gotta get out of here. I can't take this chance. I can't lose him! No! Please! Please take pity on me! Let me get out of here! Please let me go! Don't do it! Don't do it! I had two turns to use and I didn't use any of them. Please just let me leave! A wise general cuts losses and regroups. Oh my god, man. I can't. I can't do it. I can't lose Pippery! I'm sorry! It can't happen! What a terrible you circumstance! Learn a thing you think you know. I might have been able to win that fight, but there was no way I was risking losing Pippery. He was so damn valuable. We already lost a freaking legend bounty hunter. What a f what a clusterfuck that was. We got syphilis. We needed that cherry on top, didn't we? Oh my god. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Well, welcome to the cove. Goodbye, bounty hunter. Rip in pieces of Schwill. Legend Bounty Hunter bled out. Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll regroup and reconvene next time. See you then.